Hi everyone, Hamish and Gabe here from the Uplay team at Massive, and today we thought it would be cool if we take a look at some of the tools available to you in the Radeon software, including actually their overlay, which is really cool, and some of the video recording features that you can use to capture your sickest gameplay moments and even make the memes. All the memes and because it's the end of the month, which means our last giveaway wrapped up, it's also time for a new giveaway. Mm. But if you want to see if you won the last giveaway, which is the Toby Eye Trackers, you can check out the link down there somewhere. But highly relevant mm. to today's video topic, AMD hooked us up for the Vega 56 to give away. Can, can I have it? No. After you've got your Adrenaline software installed, first let's look at the Relive section, where all the streaming and recording tools live. Within the global settings, you can enable the Relive feature itself, set all your different hotkeys, and any other important options you see fit. Over in the live stream section, you can connect your various platform accounts and set stream settings like resolution, bitrate, and FPS. Similarly, over in the recording section, you can set up key settings like recording resolution, max bitrate, and FPS. On top of that, you can enable Instant Replay that lets you capture short segments of gameplay, Instant GIF, which will let you make the sickest GIFs with just a click of a button, and show off any sweet plays with the in-game Instant Replay feature. Finally, within the Scenes section is where you can create and customize the way your stream looks all from within the software. While you're in-game, you can also access the overlay by hitting your key binding, which is by default Alt-Z, and you'll be able to start recording, set up your stream, take a screenshot, or toy around with a few settings, all from within your game. Now, let's head over to the gaming section where you can adjust or change your graphical settings at a global level, or jump into the specific profile for any game that you have installed. Now let's jump over into the performance monitoring section, but before that, a quick reminder, all of this is being captured on those AMD PCs that we built for the Division Streaming Room. Uh, and if you want more information, maybe you can check out that video. Right, there's a 2700X in those builds. We're also running the Vega 64s, and then I think 16 gigs of RAM on both of those machines. We do have VSync enabled because our screens are capped at 60 Hertz, so you won't see us going over 60 FPS. Over in the performance monitoring section, you can enable or disable performance logging, but there's also a pretty sweet performance overlay as well. In here, you can set your key bindings, adjust where the overlay is anchored, and select what metrics you're interested in seeing. All of this is also available from within the in-game overlay as well. Tweak it all to your liking by adjusting not only what's displayed in the metrics, but also the transparency, the size of the window, and how many columns you want to see. There's also a good number of options to make sure that you can place it and display exactly how you want. And yes, even for those of you that want it smack down in the middle of your screen. Within the overlay, there are also a few awesome options that are easily available to you while you're in game. You can visit the Wattman section to enable or disable different performance profiles, head into the Radeon Chill section, which can help you with power management, or use the Game Advisor to get a quick analysis of the game's performance. Finally, there's also the Display section where you can enable or disable Enhanced Sync and adjust your color settings on the go. Hopefully that gives you some more information about the tools available to you. I think they're pretty cool. Same. I like numbers. I can finally count past two. Whoa. And if you do want to enter the giveaway for this Vega 56 that AMD have politely given us, you can find the entry point over there on our Twitter. So go to twitter.com slash ingonegaming and pinned to the top of our profile will be a link so you can go and enter that giveaway. All right. I think that's all for today, but we'll see you all again really soon. Bye. Bye.